Okay, so we're not in the other workshop, we're back in uh, in this one. And we're now going to be doing the electronics for the HMV Stereo Master 2402. This is the one I bought off eBay for 99 pence. And this is the one which is a dead set. Now I've got Mr. Chippy here, and what he's going to do is check the on and off switch for continuity before we start attacking the capacitors, which we will be changing anyway. So if Mr. C, if you'd like to just... Put your prods on that on and off switch. Yeah, wait. switch on. And do we have continuity? No. So I think we've got an open circuit on and off switch, don't you? Mm -hmm. mm. So that'll be the third one of these we've had like that um, in living memory. Mind you, I'm not really complaining. It is 1968 when this was made. We do have these in, on and off switches in stock. They're readily available. Uh, it's a quarter inch spindle. Um, fact, I'll just see if we can just zoom in on that. So if you can just see that, there's the on and off switch. So it's not combined with the volume control. It's a standalone rotary on and off switch. I think they're 470 plus. But they're not that cheap, but they are readily available. So we're going to change that. We're going to change the capacitors. Now the capacitors which we're going to change, we're going to start, um, we're going to start with that one on the voltage stabilizer board, the black one there, there's a black one there, 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 there. I'll give you the numbers later. There, there's one there. We'll change that green one as well. And then on the decoder board, I'll just move the camera around. The stereo decoder board's got one which needs to go there. And then on the radio tuner board, we've got that black one. And we'll change that one for good luck as well. But those black ones are a particular make. Is it Kalin, Carlin, something like that? They're awful. And they never were that good. So we will change some of those and then we'll go back to record. Okay, so Mr. Chippy's been busy changing all the capacitors that we wanted to change. So hopefully we've done the one on the power supply. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are there any more on there? One there, seven, eight, nine, ten. The one on the stereo decoder and the two on the radio tuner. The two of those we think have been changed previously. So they've all got nice new ones. And what we're now going to do, we've linked out the faulty on and off switch and we're now going to power it up. We've only got one test speaker on the test bench. We'll see what happens. Right, so we've got to the stage now where this is working again. So uh, we'll change the on and off switch. Now the on and off switch is that's the original one. This is all we've taken out of this uh, item. And it's open circuits on both poles, double pole switch. Clicks all right, but it doesn't work. So that's been replaced with a new one. We did just have to drill out with a cone cut. Um, it's just slightly bigger um, shaft than the previous one. And these are D shafts. So they're not just round shafts, they're D shafts. So I had to file a D into the shaft. But it's a plastic shaft, it wasn't difficult to do. Otherwise a knob wouldn't have fitted in the correct position. And fitted at all. Um, so, what have we changed? Well, we've changed the capacitor there on the power supply. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not forgetting the one in the between the heatsink there on the amplifier module. On the decoder, we've changed the capacitor there, and on the radio section, we've changed one, two, three. And when you look at some of these that have have come out, we, I say we didn't test this; it's full of gunk. So we know this is what the snag was. So I'm just going to plug it in just to prove this to you. I did change the 24 volt MES lamp there. If you can hear them talking in the next room, we've got. Uh, 
the other Richard here, Mr Chippy, we've got Mark here, ZX2, and we've got Bob here as well. And uh, so I'll just switch his on. We're in a very bad reception area and he's just working on a bit of solder as an aerial. But nevertheless... I think it's the same opera on every channel. So there we are, we do know everything's working and now we'll be able to put the chassis back in the cabinet. What I did as well, I'll just switch this off and just turn it round. I'm well known for putting things through our company dishwasher and we took the plastic front off and the knobs off and they went through the company dishwasher so it's, it's very nice. So there we have a finished chassis for the 2402 HMV Stereo Master and putting it back in the cabinet will be the subject of the third and final video on this product. Thanks for watching.